Good folks, we'll get started in one minute. <clears throat> Sorry, one second. My display uh, here. Okay. Welcome, everybody, to the March 6, 2023, Aries Didcom V2 Working Group. I'll post uh, our in the chat our uh, meeting notes. You can ignore anything from meeting analytics. I, I booted the, the spam bot. Um, yeah, uh, so welcome. Uh, I'll just remind you of the antitrust policies uh, for Hyperledger, uh, as well as the Hyperledger Code of Conduct. Uh, and we are flexible today in terms of um, our, our topics. So we can, uh, if, if people have specific things that they'd like to cover today, um, or if there's anybody new here that would like to introduce themselves, let's do introductions first for, for anybody that would like to go for it. Yeah, uh, I'm Victor. Um, I'm just curious. I've been attending some of the open SSF meetings. Uh, just curious, so did come how how is that can it be uh, used in the in that community as well in the future? Yeah, Victor, which which one was it? Uh, which the open uh, what meeting? Open security. Mm, open security. Mm, I'm Under, not as yeah. oh I'm not as aware of those. Are those in Hyperledger? No, that's uh, that's under Linux Foundation, uh, but it's the uh, Open Security Foundation. Okay, is that open source security? Sorry. Okay, so um, yeah, did come. Uh, uh, so uh, is that related to like self sovereign identity, decentralized identity type tech, or just general? Yeah, as a general for open source security, um, so there's a lot of like supply chain security and etc. Okay. And uh, how um, how aware of you are of things like uh, DIDs, like decentralized uh, IDs and verifiable credentials and things like that? Uh, to, I'm actually know. new to both. I'm a database guy. <laughs> I'm just okay. curious. I'm interested yeah. in security. So I've been attending a lot of open SS, SS meetings. Uh, I'm just curious how does that, that because the, the DIDCOM, the, the, the concept seems to be, uh, can be applied to that community as well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, um, and, and in fact, we think it's uh, maybe, you know, a, uh, a a nice evolution towards, uh, you know, a more secure, um, well, network. We won't even just say internet because uh, the, the transport protocols are, are um, 
or well, it's transport protocol agnostic, but uh, yeah, essentially if um, you start learning about uh, DIDs um, and uh, so those are decentralized identifiers and essentially that you can think of that as um, uh, an identifier tied to a key pair. Uh, so normal cryptographic things uh, that, that we're used to on the web, but um, controlled by uh, an individual rather than like a centralized authority. Um, so, so it's something that, um, that, that a person can even create a, a, a did just locally for themselves or per session, like if uh, for, for this uh, meeting, for instance, we could all have created uh, ephemeral or like temporary uh, identifiers, but that are, you know, cryptographically verifiable. Uh, and we could, um, you know, essentially have a secure connection and, and meeting we could bootstrap this meeting uh, via that secure connection. So, um, you know, there's maybe a lot there, we, we, uh, but that probably would give you a starting point if you start to learn about the DID spec uh, that's from the W3C uh, and it's approved spec. It's the first time that an identifier had been approved by the W3C since I think they say URLs back in, I don't know, 1989 or something like that. So uh, yeah, it's been uh, a, quite a journey towards uh, these decentralized identifiers. But the point is once you have these cryptographic identifiers uh, that follow the DID spec, then you can start doing um, um, did com, which is the ability uh, at a base layer to to um, to have secure messaging, uh, and then at the application layer, you can build protocols on top. Um, that essentially uh, those protocols can be flexible for different what we call trust tasks. The idea that a did com uh, connection essentially gives you a trusted um, connection for for communication, and then if you uh, add these protocols that are composable, uh, if you add them together, you're able to um, essentially build a, an application that has several trust tasks. So some of the trust tasks that we a lot of times uh, in our community talk about is things like issuing a verifiable credential. So that's uh, like you know being able to issue a claim about uh, a person uh, or, or organization or something like that um, that's also cryptographically verifiable. But uh, more simply, uh, there's things like uh, you can ask, uh, you know, over a DIDCOM connection, things like which protocols do you support so that you can kind of determine uh, what level of communication uh, that, that, that you can participate in with each other. Um, uh, yeah, and so the, the variety there is huge, but all that to say that um, if decentralization is viewed as uh, something that can provide extra um, security, uh, and in fact, we, we tend to use the term safety uh, to mean that it is both cryptographically secure, but also decentralized, therefore it's more censorship resistant. Um, that kind of gives you like another layer beyond just security. Uh, you know, we call it safety or, you know, maybe there's, uh, yeah, that, that, that's the way we like to brand it, I guess, um, that it's, uh, yeah, more censorship resistant. So it's even more secure because it's being, the, the trust is being derived uh, from the individuals rather than from some centralized service that you could be censored on. Uh, oh. or by some government or something like that. So hopefully that gives you a sense of kind of where uh, DIDCOM mm -hmm. could fit and where you could start. Yeah, that gave me a good overview. So uh, the DIDCOM does, has to be part of the Hyperledger, the bigger um, the bigger framework, or it can be just standalone, just DIDCOM for the, just for the uh, security uh, portion of it. Yeah, yeah, really good question. Uh, essentially kind of the initial um, concepts uh, for DIDCOM, uh, grew out of Aries, uh, what they're uh, RFCs, essentially we call them, and so these are you know uh, standards within Aries. But Didcom uh, itself has now been standardized within the Decentralized Identity Foundation, so that's DIF. So that's a different um, organization than Aries. Uh, and then this group is essentially focused on helping the Aries community to connect uh, regarding Didcom V2 specifically uh, to help Didcom V2 adoption to take off because Didcom V1 was uh, um, an older 
a version of didcom uh, that has more adoption within the Aries community. And so didcom v2 uh, was um, accepted by the diff uh, in June of 2022. And so now, uh, you know, there's this adoption period uh, for the rest of the community to essentially upgrade to Didcom v2. So that's what this working group is is focused on for Aries, but Didcom itself uh, comes up out of the diff and is, yeah, can be used widely across any community, really. So, so it's not a, like a, it's a, it's a separate, not independent from the Hyperledger uh, project. It, yeah, it's independent, but, uh, you know, pretty widely adopted. Didcom v1 uh, was, and, and Didcom v2, we hope, uh, you know, will be as well. Uh, and there's a lot of Aries RFCs that uh, relate to Didcom messaging and protocols and things like that. Okay, got it. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, that, yeah. yeah, that helps. Okay. Yeah, great. Glad to have you, Victor. All right. Any any other introductions or things that uh, we want to cover? Uh, oh, let me uh, let me post that link again here to our chat. Oh, that didn't do it at all. What did I do? I copied. Uh, here we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, so just reviewing uh, what we covered, because I essentially copied this from last week. Um, usually we'll go through announcements, but real quick um, for topics. Yes, we had started talking uh, more about the interop profile we had created uh, within this HackMD. Um, Ooh. Okay, and it's even been added to, which is great. We had started to create this um, this chart for uh, the Aries Interop Profile 3, uh, specifically the DID methods uh, that are being discussed for uh, well, ephemeral type DIDs. Uh, and um, a comparison of those in this chart. So. Um, I don't know if it actually helps me to expand that for you guys or not, but um, yeah, it looks like uh, there's been a little more activity here, just documenting a legacy peer document example, which we weren't as focused on the legacy peer stuff. Um, a lot of the Aries community is focused on that. And then, yeah, an AFJ did peer to example, maybe Roto, you... Uh, you posted that from from your um, work. If I take off our edit here, well, we can see a little bit more of it. So anyways, um, I think people liked uh, the idea of the chart. They were happy that got started. We filled in a bunch more information from the Aries Working Group meeting. Uh, so that's something that we'll want to touch on today. Um, Um, just looking over, let's see, ecosystems of Didcom v2 services or local agents, right? So we want to uh, continue to show more and more um, Didcom v2 uh, services that are live that people can connect to uh, and try, essentially, try out uh, Didcom v2. Obviously, at some point, we would love to have like a almost like a didcom v2 test harness that's out there that people could connect to and and try all all types of protocols especially the common uh protocols but anyways the the, the one of the big movements is to try to get as many services out there as possible um in order to show didcom v2 in action um I was just in a meeting with roto where uh we 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 did a uh, a nice connection between uh, two Didcom v2 chat apps, so that's great. That's showing more progress. Um, and I don't know if we want to get to the point where I've seen that this document for DWN carry Didcom uh, has continued to grow. So those are all possibilities. Um, any other things that we might want to cover today, we can add to the agenda. No problem. Just speak up. 
Um, in terms of announcements, I don't have anything other than the AIP3 stuff that we just talked about. Yeah, does anybody have anything else? Maybe Alex from from uh, Denver. Uh, what what is it? East Denver or anything like that? Maybe. Uh, yeah. So the there is there's been actually a lot of companies, but East Denver, like I want to say, like maybe like fifteen or twenty percent of the companies there were like DIDs related. So I was quite surprised to see that many companies. Uh, but one thing that I noticed is none of them use uh we use did come so i've tried to push did come to to all of them uh for, from that perspective uh and uh yeah like i also talked to wallet connect uh since they're building like a messaging a peer-to-peer -peer messaging protocol uh i mentioned did come to them and uh, they said they're going to to take a look there uh, but yeah like in terms of adoption even like the companies that work with the IDs don't really, they're not really like did compliance. Uh, and yeah, like a lot of them, they still have like their custom DID implementation type thing. So yeah, we're still very early. Okay. Well, did uh, uh, did you get a chance to talk to um, Nick from Varamo about maybe yeah, IW so I being able to? Yeah, yeah, so I was able to talk to to Nick, and then uh, yeah, like we can do an interrupt demo at the uh, Gramo at uh, IAW with the, the Gramo guys. They have a mediator running uh, already, so maybe we can like interrupt with them with, with that mediator. Uh, that's uh, that's one thing that we were thinking about, and as well as like doing the basic issue credential and basic message flow. Well. Uh, yeah. Good. Awesome. All right, that'd be great. Yep, yep. Okay, and anything else? Okay. Yeah, like one thing that I talked to to the Veramo guys about, they were saying how they wanted to make the Veramo agent uh, as like a test harness uh, for a DITCOM. Uh, like they were thinking of like doing that uh, as well. So having the Veramo agent just be similar to a test suite similar to what I think the Aries test, test harnesses, but having that for like all types of diff diff related protocols. Uh, so uh, yeah, I think I would share that here. Yeah, interesting. I mean, certainly there's a little, well, there's a lot more to the test harness than just the capabilities of an agent. So that, you know, that I don't know if they know how much uh, they'd be biting off there in terms of, uh, you know, what could go into it, but certainly just having an agent that's sitting out there, you know, waiting for, for DIDCOM and other types of uh, protocols, uh, you know, waiting for connections and and maybe have some canned scenarios that you could run through. That would be cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. Yeah, I told them that uh, they should check out the test hardness because it's, uh, it's pretty complex to that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Good. Um, add that up here. This is old, old. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, let's talk. Actually, it's worth uh, discussing a little bit more about IAW. Uh, I think I see Bjorn so on the call. I don't know if Bjorn, you will know. Uh, I, yeah. I think you had said that you plan to be there. Yeah, I will be there. Um, so, yeah, might be from my side, as, as you guys know, I worked uh, on the DITCOM stuff um, myself. And um, what I did, I ported the SIGPA DITCOM v2 library over to .NET, as well as the peer DIT library also from SIGPA. And this is, I would, so it works, all the tests pass, but uh, overall I would consider it still a bit of work in progress because there are some 
parts of the code which are not really um, ready for production, um, but but it works. Um, and now I'm on um, on the on the protocols. So I'm I'm looking at your uh, implementation of the mediator. And I wrote my own implementation of Mediator. Um, I don't have everything in place yet, um, but most of the important parts, like the media Mediator, Coordinator, Pickup, Basic Message, and so on. So um, yeah, uh, uh, I'm. I want to finish this work first, um, but we can talk about what we can do in on IIW. So I have no, no scenario where I say that's what I really want to do, um, but I'm quite open uh, to investing time into an uh, interop scenario with you guys. Great. Yeah, that would be fantastic. We, we would, we, Last IAW, we had demonstrated just a chat between um, two Roots Wallet apps. Uh, and so, yeah, if we, in April, we can show essentially a bunch of different agents uh, doing Didcom V2, you know, interop, that would be just, you know, a great next step, uh, I think. And it also supports this idea of um, having more live uh, or, or, usable agents you know out there so um yeah just to gain more and more momentum uh for adoption and within the community and i think the more that people will see it and know that things are out there and it's not that hard uh, that's the other thing that you know like sam curran wants to stress that you know did come v2s not that difficult to get started with then um that would be nice of course we also need to make it not that hard so <laughs> or easier and easier uh so what what have your thoughts been bjorn so far so far as you're you know kind of getting into it is it well, well for, one, for one thing thank you by the way for I, I saw that you submitted an issue for uh our specific uh mediator which is great uh that's that's the other thing you know that we we each make each other stronger yeah. as we interact more but um yeah just your thoughts as you've been ramping on didcom v2 so my challenge was that i had to start um at zero with everything so there was no usable or say library in .NET. So I had to implement that. And I had to re essentially write all the code for the DITCOM and the peer did. And that was quite challenging, especially the crypto parts. Um, and I, I wouldn't say I fully understand everything. I mean, I ported the code and porting is different from architecting something by yourself. Um, but now, I mean, it runs. And now I just use the, the APIs of the DITCOM v2 library. These are pretty clear and simple. So when you don't have to deal with the inner workings, it's more or less uh, easy to handle. Yeah. Okay. That's very consistent with, uh, you know, what others have experienced. So the crypto uh, stuff is always difficult and... Yeah, yeah, even and, and what you really need to do is um, run through the examples like in a debugger step by step and understanding what's going on. It's still hard for me to to wrap my head around what's happening in the background, like especially uh, all the routing stuff. And yeah, um, I, I it wouldn't be so I wouldn't would not have be able to done it completely by myself. So having uh, like a reference implementation, like your mediator really helps understanding these things. Yeah, that's good to know. Yeah, 
I was also going to say that the more services we have for the combi too, like if we have like three, four the mediator, I think that's good for the community. So people can kind of like switch around and be able to, to play and, and be able to screen up the service relatively easily. Yeah. For sure. And and the more services that are using SIGPA as their underlying library helps to make things uh, seem to work together better. Um, have we? Yeah. I, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say it can become like the de facto standard implementation, right? Similar to like OpenSSL. Uh, yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, good. Okay. Um, uh, I was thinking, how can we better give um, people a shot at? Um, it's it, it sounds like we're building towards a, a possible session here. Um, I don't know if it would be during demo time at IW or um, if we'd actually hold, uh, you know, a session. Uh, or do something outside of IW. However, we do it. It, you know, we would want as many people to participate as possible. Um, we we know most of the people, I think, uh, especially with the Didcom V2 community at IAW. But um, yeah, I don't know how much we need to socialize kind of the community to be ready for this. Um, you know, it's kind of like JFF had had done. Um, their plug fest prior to IAW, but it, it would be nice if we could kind of do something during IAW that's, yeah, an interop session. And, and, and if there's others that are close, but, but maybe will be ready if they know in advance. Uh, I'm, I, I mean, I can certainly post about it on LinkedIn and things like that. Um, yeah, that might be as good as we can do. And certainly reaching out to everybody that we know would help. Okay, because it's, uh, let's see, we have just over a month um, until that's coming. So not a lot of time or it's enough time for, for some good preparation, but not a lot of time to do anything wild. So, okay. Uh, Okay, any other thoughts for IAW, East Denver, anything else going on that we can think of over the last week? Okay. I mean, it would be like a cool idea for like demoing IAW is like receiving a credential with like OIDC and doing a present proof with DITCOM. But like, that's not like DITCOM interrupt, right? It's like interrupt right. with DITCOM IDC. Uh, right, so almost showing a different form of interop there, uh, or at least composability, I guess, of, of functionality. Um, who has, let's see, AFJ has support for OIDC now. Uh, Varamo, I assume, Varamo agent has support? Yeah, they do have some OIDC connectors, that thing. Uh, but yeah, like, the idea came from like seeing Karim's presentation, since like the AFJ can become like a holder, I think, uh, uh, from the OIDC perspective, uh, from the OIDC flow. Uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of like where my, my brain uh, was going. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Okay, well, um, let's, okay, Let, let's consider which agents might be able to do that and what, you know, some short paths that, that could make that happen. I, I agree that that, uh, there was a whole session on that last IW, um, but to actually show it, I'm not sure that that's happened. So that would be cool.
yeah, and like I think like that can like bring like the DITCOM people and like the OIC, OIDC people closer together. Uh, yeah, yeah, good point. Maybe right include them in. I am not as connected to that community. Who do we think we would go to? Um, yeah. yeah. Who who in the OIDC community? Uh, I mean, certainly what's uh, Sam and uh, I'm trying to remember his name. It's Thor. Thor. Thorsten. Is it Thorsten though? <laughs> I'm terrible with names, but uh, I mean Sam and 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 the person that we both know, and uh, yeah, maybe it's Thorsten. I don't know if he's the one to go to, but I mean we could start that way. I'm I would be happy to touch base. This is probably worth talking to Sam about as well to see if he has any plans for this. Um, yeah, I think his, his name is like Torsten Larsen. He's the guy that doing that's developing the open IDC for VC and VP. Uh, okay. From yes. Okay. Com. okay. I think uh, he's the open banking uh, guy. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, let's yeah, let's let's get that going. We'll see. We'll see what kind of interest we get. If they did a whole session at IW, I would imagine they're 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 pretty interested. Drum and Reed uh, was big into that session and the the connection of of their communities, so he probably would also um, he would have a good idea of who to reach out to as well. Okay, good. I like it. So which, um, can we list which uh, agents we think? Uh, not just for OIDC, for VC, but um, which agents we think might participate in just a DIDCOM uh, exchange. Uh, and then, you know, also if, if adding OIDC, but that, you know, that makes it even more, uh well it makes the the group of agents much smaller uh so we're saying certainly uh roots id uh agents maybe a variety well uh, yeah how do we want to listen let's talk about agents first so afj uh varamo uh it sounds like block trust will be yeah but we don't have the oidc stuff yeah, that's fine. Yeah, OIDC is kind of like bonus material. <laughs> so, um, although I would think OIDC would be easier for. Yeah, there are most likely some .NET implementations. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, eventually. Okay. Uh, any others that I should list here? Do you think uh, a a v Aviary or I always forget their name as well. Brian. Yeah. Uh, I yeah, I can ping Brian to see if he's gonna be there. Uh, okay, I can't. It, I can't remember if it's Avery or A V Aviary. Aviary Tech. Yeah, okay. it's weird. Aviary Tech. Yeah. Okay. Any others that we think might want to party? I would assume that maybe in this show. Yeah, so they're going to be based on, well, maybe they're not, they're more Occupy, but yeah, what do, what do they, hmm, what do they do Didcom V2 over? That's a good question because I know that they do a bunch of Didcom V1 using Occupy. I don't know what they have, so let's list them as certainly... Super so. educated in like, sorry, I feel like very inarticulate about what Hi. we're doing. Oh, uh, no, no. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Talking about this stuff, you know, especially after you think about it a ton, but then like actually talking about it, it's always awkward. So go for it. <laughs> I do think Indisu, uh would be interested, uh, particularly. I know we have a project. I'm not a part of it 
um, working with our like DidCom V2, we have like a mediator project in the cloud. So I do think we'd be interested. In okay. Yeah, great. And and sorry, Alexandra, I didn't even see that you were in the meeting. My my list of attendees was shortened, but I didn't know it was being shortened. So <laughs> all good. I normally don't talk because I'm not very articulate in this area. So oh, this is the place to practice. I mean, all I do is stumble for an hour. <laughs> it's it's not like Sam where yeah, you know, he's he's very well spoken about it, very clear thoughts. Uh yeah, you know, so forgive me, everybody. For that but yeah thank you for uh for participating alexandra that's great okay so we'll, yeah we'll definitely talk to indico see what they want to um do anybody else that we can think of i will ask phil students if they're interested so let's put pico agents okay on there just uh, so they can see them themselves yeah in the way. yeah that would be awesome Yeah, I'd love to see that as well. You Go didn't ahead. list us. Which oh, I didn't. It? I didn't list us. Right? Yes, I started <laughs> listing companies, and and then I, uh, yeah. And and maybe prison, right? The Tala prison. Right. Okay. Yes, definitely, definitely. Good. Thank you. Absolutely. That's how self self deprecating I am. Not even list the ones that I know uh, best. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and and yeah, for Roots ID, we might be showing essentially AFJ, Varamo, and Prism, all using our UI. So that's like um, that 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 could be extra cool, uh, just in the sense that like if the Varamo guys, you know, they have their their um, you know wallet or or app or whatever it is, um, you know, hopefully the Varamo did come between those two would be easy, but then obviously we would want to show, you know, cross agent uh, did coming and yeah, so it's a whole mix here which could be really exciting. Great. Okay, so let's make this happen as much as possible over the next month. I'll, I'll try to do as much legwork uh, in terms of the networking uh, or communications between everybody um, and, you know, see, try to gauge who's really committed to, to making that session as successful as possible. Okay, great. Um, what do we think? I mean, obviously, the classic thing is to show issuing a credential or something like that and 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 present proof, these kinds of things. Um, but that's not necessarily as inclusive. I think we've talked about that with like uh, the Pico agents and just in general, you know, Didcom is much more than than kind of those classic SSI scenarios. So is there any preference in terms of this, the protocols um, that we want to try to highlight? Like what's most impressive? <laughs> For for a community uh, to see, it IIW is pretty well, very uh, you know SSI aware, obviously. So um, you know, kind of the classics are are will be great, you know. But I also want to essentially um, to get the word out as much as possible afterwards. So you know, there'll be a much wider community that that will be. Uh, showing all of this too so yeah just thoughts in terms of scenario I mean do we just want to focus on um, messaging uh, yeah I mean certainly messaging is a big one uh, issue credential yeah, I think that if we start with credential, that's going to add another layer of interoperability. 
that may complicate the things or that due date. Because now you need to decide, oh, which, which type of credentials and all, all those stuff. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, let's talk about the low hanging fruit first then. Um, yeah, what would we want to be able to show happening between these DIDCOM agents? Discover features? Is that something that we would want everybody to be able to? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, messaging, trust being, uh, well, at least for, uh, for me, just the uh, receiving a basic message would be fantastic between yeah. all those. It's like, like proving that you did come into office is working among all the all those agents. Yeah. Be helpful to just go through basic V2 flows. So yes, basic messaging, trust being um issue credential. Um I forget uh oh, all the API endpoints. Um regardless, um, I was just trying to point out, um, I guess I've done some work similarly in the HCO Acrify minimal example that at least goes through these flows relatively quickly and simply between a Alice and Bob agent. Maybe I'll just stop talking. Sorry. Um no, that's good. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I see also Alex posted question and answer, which I do feel it like comes up a lot, but I don't necessarily know that there's a ton of agents that have implemented it. I mean, certainly we could, you know, kind of all say, okay, well, we're going to go implement it. But I guess well, essentially what I'm asking is, you know, what do we think are the, <laughs> what do we think the features? If we were to discover features on all these agents, where do we think we'll see the most overlap? Obviously, basic messaging, trust ping is super easy. So, and probably most of them have started there. Um, uh, what else? Anything else? Uh, uh, mediation is uh i guess one question i had are we all doing like mobile agents or are we going to have some uh some not mobile agents block trust and yeah. pico labs are not mobile right i don't know about aviary tech well i guess when i mean mobile i mean that they need the mediator Sorry, I didn't like an enterprise agent, mm. like a cloud agent. That's what I mean. Are we only going to talk to, uh, yeah, like uh, devices that need mediation, or, uh, yeah? I wouldn't think so. I think yeah, mediation. Well, yeah, that's a good question. Thoughts? Well, uh, okay. Good. Yeah, we're thinking about. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess it sounds like that. Like most people, we we all have like uh, mobile type mediators. Like we don't have any cloud agents uh, yet. I know that uh, the the Ramo guys, they have uh, one of their like the issuer is set up as a as a cloud agent, uh, so it doesn't need uh, the mediator pickup. It's a web service type uh, type endpoint. Oh, but that's the only thing I'm, I'm aware of. Yeah. Okay. So I think this discussion is highlighting for me that we need to collect uh, an understanding of how uh, we're going to connect uh, with each other here, uh, you know, in terms of, you know, who can do QR codes and, uh, all these kinds of things, uh, you know, uh, yeah, is uh, what what are what do we need in terms of mediation and support and okay, so it's good that we're discussing this because uh, it's it's not just as simple as being a DITCOM V two uh, agent and just being able to do things that are presentable, right? <laughs> that are that are demoable that will, you know, gain some attention. 
Yeah, go ahead, Bjorn. And I guess the question is the form of the presentation. Uh, we won't be able to shove all this in the 10 minutes time slots of the demos. So um, we, we could uh, do a video of five minutes, really showing like snippets uh, of every agent receiving a message so that everyone is in this video, or we have some kind of session. But even for the session, we need a very clear plan what to do. So it's more or less scripted in a way that every party exactly knows what is expected of them in the demo. Uh, we, yeah, otherwise it will be most likely confusing and not working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Wouldn't that be something if, uh, Half, half of the people there for whatever reason have issues and yeah, then it's like they're not participating. And yeah, I, I like the idea of a pre-recorded video um, so that we can always fall back to that. Uh, and it also is a, you know, a very focused way to show um, kind of everything that's going on and explain it, but then yeah, having uh, we we need to set ourselves up for as much success as possible during the live session, if we're going to do a live session. I mean, certainly every group could have a demo table. Uh, you know, even that as people are walking around, it's kind of like, oh yeah, we're participating in this you know larger thing that's happening. You know, at those other tables, you know, they've got their agents uh, going, and if you want to see those, you can you could move over there. So. Potentially, it's kind of like 10, 10 minute demos, but that those demos are interacting. Uh, that could be cool. Or if we do decide to not do it in the demo session, because maybe that's too difficult, then we hold like a, you know, an interop uh, uh, session, not not a demo, not the demonstration stuff, but uh, an actual thing that people can attend. Okay, yeah, these are all really good thoughts. It 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 was uh, a lot simpler when you know it was just Roots ID sitting at a table showing between <laughs> two of our mobile apps talking to each other. But this, you know, we're we're shooting for something much bigger here, so more coordination. But we've got a month, so let's. I'll 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 do my very best to to get all the parties aware and, and communicating. And yeah, hopefully, yeah, this pre-recording I think is is very important. Good, good note, Bjorn. Okay, other thoughts? I'm sure that's bringing up even more things. I mean, something I think would be cool is like have a group chat. Um, but yeah, we do have to like make a group chat protocol. So like okay. um right like one person can come from like we can go from one table to the other one and like see messages per se like if we were to do like split uh split demonstrations uh I thought that would be cool like you can go from one table like send a message to a different mediator to a different table and like you can see it there uh, yeah just throwing ideas out there yeah that one might be like IAW fall you know, if we yeah, can show, yeah. if we can, if we can show just, yeah, the most basic interactions in the spring and then by fall, if we're group chatting, um, that would be amazing. Yeah. They will require a little bit more coordination between the, all of us to, to agree on a protocol. Yeah. And get Rather that, just be... yeah, get that posted to didcom.org. Okay. Cool. Other thoughts? This is a good spitball session. Is that a, is that a kind of a gross term, isn't it? <laughs> I can never really thought about it. Is it, is it, is it. is that what they call it, a spitball session? Uh, anyways, yeah, we're spitballing here, even though that's a little bit gross now. Uh, it's better than throwing spaghetti against the wall, in my opinion. <laughs> right, seeing what sticks. 
Uh, or brainstorming brainstorming's better. Yeah, that's much more intellectual. There we go. We're brainstorming. <laughs> And feel free to bring up something else. If 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 you came here not wanting to do a brainstorm session for IW, then uh, yeah, feel, feel free to to hop in. We've got eight minutes, so yeah. If there are any other topics that we need to cover, we should start it now. Um, but otherwise, we'll just keep brainstorming for IW and then wrap up. Okay. Yeah, it is amazing how. Uh, since last IAW, you know, it's like, oh, we've got time, we've got time. And now it's like, oh, we have one month to to be ready. Time flies and yeah, never get as much done as we hope. But this would be really cool. I, I'm pretty excited. Uh, and I think we have a lot of willing participants just when I'm looking at this list. Uh, you know, everybody on here wants to be able to do this and participate in this. I'm I'm almost positive of that. So yeah, I'm excited that we're gonna be able to kind of uh collect forces. I don't know if everybody knows, but uh there we you know again Roots ID did a demo for DidCom V2 showing chat uh and um oh uh actually so I had put AFJ on here, but um, what is Ariel? What's his um, chat app? I mean, it's AFJ based, but yes, yeah, I need the to make sure. The one that shows it can be two. We did come be one. The the chat app that <sighs> you showed that's, me. In the that's demo. right. <laughs> but but he's planning to have did come be two by IW, correct, Roto? Yeah. So what? what he said so we need to okay reach yeah him okay and... yeah we'll, we'll we'll check in with him but yeah that would be great too his chat chat app is um excellent it might be worth um reaching out to the animo guys um because they've dabbled in this and you know obviously they've uh yeah done quite a bit so i don't know if they would want to I don't know. I don't know that they're coming to IW. They didn't last time. Uh, I know it's quite a haul for them, but uh, if they have something showable, I mean, at least in the recorded video, we could uh, we could highlight something for them. Anybody else that you think I should reach out to? Uh, you know, when we say Varamo, we we mean Nick. Nick, oh. yes, Nick. Oh. Nick. Yeah, anyone else in that community that you know of, <laughs> Alex? That uh, I mean, uh, in terms of Didcom, uh, the people that are the most involved are Nick and uh, there's this guy called uh, Cody. Uh, uh, yeah, pretty pretty smart guy. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the those are the most involved uh, people in Didcom in the Brahma community. Okay. Yeah, this is Bjorn. Uh, maybe I should be adding people, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Can I get Brian here? Uh, uh, what's his last name? Richter, right? Yep. Uh, Brian Richter. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. There we go. Okay, cool. Uh... Uh -huh. Good. Let's see if I can get Ariel on here. Uh, am I spelling that wrong? Oh, it's uh, yeah. There we go. Good. Uh, we had Alexandra. And Andrea Walker. Yes, Walker. Yep, good. And Sam. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. That's uh, sometimes it just doesn't want to take. Okay, good. And 
Bruce, good. Uh, let's see if Phil on here. Phil Windley, Win might be like Philip. Well, okay, I tried. Okay. Yeah. This will probably be just Alex and Rhoda. Cool. Do you know if any of the Atalakais will be uh, there at IRW? That's a good question. Um, I don't know. It's worth asking. Okay. Yeah, we'll find out. All right. Any other thoughts? I think that pretty much does our time. I think this was super useful because timing wise, uh, I think we've, this is the latest we would want to be trying to pull this all together. So <laughs> I'm glad we talked about it. Yeah. Anything else? Okay. Super exciting. Let's see where we go. I'll try to give updates uh, each week on, um, you know, who's who seems to be coming together and, and interested and, you know, might might be able to participate and who's attending. And uh, yeah, at the very least, we'll try to get as many of these um, showing some form of, uh, you know, basic messaging or even trust ping. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it. Thanks, everybody. Good chatting. See you. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Lance. Bye. Bye. -bye.